Now, decentralization must include decentralization of what software is running. The July 19th cloud strike disaster shows what happens when uh, lots and lots of websites are running the same piece of software that gives special access to the same people. They might all go down the same day. And who can fix them? There are only a few people who are authorized to even try to fix them. We better learn our lesson from that as a world and not get into that sort of power of some few. We have to recognize that letting a few have such power over our own computing activities is not only threatening to be oppressive, but threatening to wreck things completely. Anti-social media platforms all put a lot of effort into their recommendation engines. And these are examples of programs that I consider to be truly artificial intelligence because they do understand the field that they're supposed to understand, that they're designed to understand, and that is which kinds of recommendations will enable the company to make more money. That's what the companies want, and the programs can figure that out pretty well. For instance, anything that is upsetting, controversial, makes some people angry, is likely to keep people on the site for longer, and that's what the company wants. More time on the site means more ads seen, and so on. Uh, and yet that pattern turns out to be very harmful for society, has boosted right-wing extremists and puts democracy in danger. I have a recommendation for how to solve that. The platforms themselves should not be allowed to have recommendation engines. This is something like antitrust law. No, you shouldn't have one company able to post, let people post things and also choose what to recommend people watch. Instead, the recommendation should have to be separate and the two should operate at arm's length, relate at arm's length through a publicly specified interface so that anyone else can make a recommendation engine. Anyone could. There'll be competing recommendation engines you could use with the same platform, or perhaps with various platforms. And that way, yes, there would surely be a, a right-wing extremist uh, recommendation engine, but it won't be the only one and you won't be shoved straight into that, or whether you like it or not. In the, some US states are considering passing laws that platforms can't use their, uh, can't put, direct their recommendation engines to, uh, quote, children, unquote, which means people under, it's not clear what age, they're not all actually children. But the thing, the problem with that is these recommendations are dangerous for adults too. So you're not really solving the whole problem if you try to protect only children. But I'm not saying ban recommendation engines. I'm saying disconnect them from platforms so platforms can't dump recommendation engines on all users, or, or on any user if the user doesn't choose it. 